Hello Cancerians, welcome to your horoscope for August 2021. Okay, so I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all doing fine. Um, at the moment, I'm in lockdown and it's been a month, so it's trialing. Okay, so um, for, your, for, the, for the planets, we've got, sorry, Mars will be in your third house for the whole of the month. Um, so it's going to be good for like siblings um siblings and um sorry i'm just getting as i'm saying it i'm getting like something to say um it's just that you're going to have venus in the first part of the month already there and i just feel like it's something about fire it's just like a, a there's like a fiery confrontation or tempers are gonna gonna rise there's some sort of fiery fieriness coming on there in that third house of siblings could also be neighbors as well the 12th, though, the Mercury um, is going to come into that third house, which should help calm it, calm things down and make things a bit more even plain. On the 17th, you've got Venus, which will go out of this, out of that house into the fourth house. So it's good for home and family. Um, it's like more of a loving feel around the family, around the home. Um, it's a good time to like do renovations and do any projects. And then we've got... Um, the 31st, we've got Mercury, which is going to go into that fourth house too. I just feel like it's going to be good for signing contracts when that Mercury goes in. It's going to be good for contracts you need to sign. They're coming in. Okay. Okay. Let's look at the cards. Um, let's have a look for you guys. What have we got coming up for this month? For you, for the Cancerians. Okay. So, um... I will say that it is going to be about letting things go and letting things be as they be. Um, everything is as it should be. There's going to be a big learning curve as well. Um, this is, but you're going to learn have a lot of wisdom. Or there's going to be a lot of wisdom around you. It's about just taking that control in. Um, if things don't, don't work out, it's going to be okay. So there's no worth crying over spilt milk. Um, it's also going to be like intuition or if you like cats, I mean like maybe some cats around you, but I just feel like it could be, it's going to be intuition um, coming up around you as well for this month. And it's about, you're trying to be a bit picky with something too. I feel like this is to do with work. You're being very picky and you're wanting things to be in a certain way. Um, you're wanting to lead. It's like you're wanting to lead everybody to, to do things the way you want them to do, but everyone else wants to do things they want to do. And it's going to be hard. You're going to be a bit reluctant. You're going to get a bit frustrated with this because you're just going to want people to follow your lead. And you're going to get a bit frustrated. It's about also maybe not taking the lead, but leading a different way. Maybe it's okay they do it the way they want to do if the outcome's still the same way. And it's about managing this as well. And it's about also things and with the career, a new opportunity coming up for you. Um, there's like a new thing that's coming too. It's like a um, new branch, new thing. Maybe you're going to be moving um, offices or it's just a good, by the end of the month, there's a good vibe and you've been wanting this vibe for, or wanting this change to happen and it's finally sort of coming up. It's like light shining on it. Um, let's look at the family with you. Um Look, I feel like you kind of want a bit of enchantment around you or so. Look, with siblings, I do feel like, um, let's say a bit of enchantment, maybe you have a sibling that's very, like, spiritual or magical or, she like, or they like things to be a, um, I feel like it's a she, so I'm going to say she. She likes him to be the sister. They like things to be um, open up and be more free and you're very being very stubborn because you've got to be a bit more free. This, I just feel like a bit more free in your thinking and where you are this month. Um, also with to do with the family, I feel like you're going to be, look, you are a star sign that likes to clutter. You are a star sign that's a bit, little bit messy. Um, and you like things the way they are around you. And it's like, it's going to be time for you to, to sort things out. Things are sort of getting overgrown with the family, with, to do with like the home and the family. You need to do a lot of restructuring as well. Um. There's a lot of there is a lot of wisdom and guidance around you to be of the family this month for your Cancerians and, and or someone around you that you live with, and it's a, trying to, they are trying to guide you 
um, but you need to be open up to what they need to say. Let's look at relationships for you Cancerians. Okay, um, again, I feel like it's about listening to others as well. I feel like children's a big thing for those who have children. It's about like taking, um, like nurturing them as you are nurturers and listening to them and taking the time out to be there for them this month. Um, for those who are in relationships, it's like you're, some of you are walking on cloud nine. So I feel like possibly um, some good things with relationships. For those who are single, it's like you're independent and you love your independence. And that's sort of how it's sort of staying. But I, I feel like there's someone, perhaps if you're under sort of lockdown, that you're sneaking out to meet someone too. I feel like there's a bit of sneakiness going on there too in terms of relationships too. Okay, let's look at also your finances. I feel like the finances is a change up, but you, it, it's a bit of a tight squeeze in terms of money. Um, but you don't really care, but a, you're not really caring about it. Um, and you're just like happy to immerse yourself in these opportunities that you have. And with the money that you have, it's like you're, you're just liking to have money around you for some reason this month. I don't know where that's coming from. But there is a change. So there is a change coming in to do with like maybe changing your bank institution or changing investments or, or thinking of new things to put your money. There's a, there's a change and it's a positive change coming in for that. Okay, to do with your friends. Okay, I do feel like there's a friend around you who may be expecting um or they're not sure they're not sure about something as well there's two possibilities one i feel like could be expecting a baby baby news or they're not sure of something they're not this friend's not confident they don't know what decision they need to make about a certain situation around them everything's a bit blurry around them they're not very um they're not very strong it's like they're not a person who's like i'm going to do this and just do it they flip-flop and they need a lot of guidance. They need to know that um, they need someone to take control for them. And they might look at you to do that. Um, in terms of like study, I find this more study related than holidays. I do feel like it's a bit overwhelming this month for you in terms of studying. Um, you're trying to get things done. You're trying to get it finished. Uh, there, is, there is the light at the end of the tunnel that's coming up for you. Okay, um, let's have a look here. We got something to do with health. I don't know why I'm drawn to babies. I feel like it's come a lot of other stuff, horoscopes too about babies, but again, it's coming up with you too. Again, in, okay. Um, for some of you, there might be unexpected um, news or unexpected rivals coming in, babies perhaps. Also, I feel like it's about this this month, like try not to get too much in your own space, in your head. It's about also, I feel like it's going to be good. Um, actually, I feel like some of you, I'm not docked up, but I do feel like your eyes need to get tested this month. It's a bit blurriness. Um, and you're just wanting to have free, like, like free exercise, like walking, just doing things that you're wanting to do and nurture yourself um, and stay in your own little world as well. Like a little a fairy kingdom, a little world. I'm going to say that Cancerians for you for this month. It's a bit of a tricky reading this month for you. Okay, let's have a look to see what else we've got for you, Cancerians. Okay. Cancerians, you're treading on a fine line. You're trying to go across this type rope and you think it's quite solid, but it's not. It's a type rope. It's a type rope that's so thin, with one slip you're going to fall. You're on this path at the moment, which you're not too sure about, but you're complacent. But you can be very stubborn and fixed into your own energy of wanting things to be a certain way and this goes here and that goes there. It's not going to be like that this month for you, Cancerians. You need to learn to be free. You need to learn to to do what's wise and not not necessarily what you want to do but what's the wise decision that's for you and then that decision will become easier for you to make okay thank you for liking watching and your comments um i don't really have any news of where i'm going to be because i'm in lockdown as i said before hopefully by end of next month we'll see some sort of light and i won't be in lockdown um 
if you want to book me for a reading please contact me um, all my readings are in Australian dollars um, we could all be by zoom as well um, we could organize a time um, for us to do the reading they're all readings are via zoom at the moment because of the lockdowns so if you are in Sydney unfortunately I cannot do face to face because we know why um, and I am on TikTok too so um, please follow me on TikTok my, send us my Instagram handle at Lady D Psychic. And yes, I will see you for your horoscope for next month. So bye for now.